Hi, in this video we are going to learn about the heat transfer, the physics lesson for the class 8 ICAC. This is chapter 6. The key concept we are going to see in this chapter is vaporization or boiling, evaporation, thermal expansion. In evaporation we have the subdivision effects of evaporation. And in thermal expansion, we have types of thermal expansion, thermal expansion of solids, liquids and gases. Again, we have the classification in the types of thermal expansion is linear expansion, superficial expansion, cubical expansion. For thermal expansion of solids, we have the examples and application of thermal expansion of solids. And in liquids also we have the applications of thermal expansion of liquids. Vaporization or boiling. The process by which a liquid changes into its gaseous state at some fixed temperature by absorption of heat energy is known as vaporization or boiling. For example, water changes into steam at 100 degrees centigrade on heating. The boiling of pure liquid occurs at a fixed temperature called boiling point. During this process of boiling, all the molecules of the liquids are involved in the process. Hence, the boiling occurs in the whole volume of the liquid. Evaporation Many times the liquid changes into its vapor state even below its boiling point. For instance, wet cloths hang out in the sun, mop the floor and wet hair dry up with the time. The change of substances from its liquid state into its gaseous state at any temperature below its boiling point is called evaporation. So what is evaporation? The change of the substance from its liquid state to its gaseous state. Here it is very important from liquid state to gaseous state at any temperature below its boiling point. These are the important points, terms. So in the liquid, the molecules are in a constant random motion. The speed of these molecules keep changing due to their collision with other molecules. If the molecules near the surface of the liquid gain sufficient energy, they will escape and become vapor. So what is vaporization or boiling? That is the process of which the liquid changes into its gaseous state at some fixed temperature by absorption of heat energy is known as vaporization or boiling. That is the boiling degree 100 degree centigrade. On heating of 100 degree centigrade it's happened. What is happening? Vaporization is happening and then evaporation that is the change of substance from its liquid state to its gaseous state at any temperature below its boiling point that is called evaporation. Next effects of evaporation. The drying of wet cloths occurs because of the evaporation of water from their surface. Water stored in an earthen pot seeps out on the surface of the pot through its fi fine pores and evaporates. This lowers the temperature of the water in the pot. Sweat absorbs heat from your body to evaporate. This helps to cool down your body during summer.
thermal expansion most substances increase in their dimension when they are heated the expansion produced in matter due to the absorption of heat energy is called thermal expansion when a substance is heated the kinetic energy of its molecules increases and the molecules start moving more vigorously as a result the distance between the molecules increases and the substance expands in solids the molecules are closely packed and are held together firmly so solids expand a little on heating in liquids molecules are loosely packed and have free space in comparison to solids on heating the distance between the molecules increases so liquids expands more than solids on heating in gases molecules are free to move and the force of attraction between them is also almost zero so gases expand in most on heating types of thermal expansion we have three types linear expansion superficial expansion and a cubical expansion linear expansion the increase in length of the solid on heating is called linear expansion linear expansion depends on the following factors that is original length of the solid increase in temperature and the nature of the solid let's see the first one original length of the solid a longer rod of a metal expands more than a smaller rod of the same metal when heated for the same amount of time next increase in temperature when two rods of the same metal having the same length are heated to different temperatures the rod heated to the higher temperature expands more than the one heated to the lower temperature third one nature of the solid when two rods of the different metals having the same length are heated to the same temperature one rod expands more than the other depending on the nature of the metal so here we have three classifications three factors that is original length of the solid increase in temperature and the nature of the solid in original length of the solid a longer rod of a metal expands more than the smaller rod when the when the heat is heated for the same amount of time next increase in temperature when the two rods are in same metal having the same length or heated to different temperature here the higher temperature expands more than the one heated in the lower temperature then the third one nature of the solid when the two rods are in different metals that is here two rods of different metals having the same length or heated to the same temperature one rod expands more than the other depending on the nature of the metal next is superficial expansion expansion in area of solid on heating is called superficial expansion what is superficial expansion expansion in area of solid on heating that is called superficial expansion for example the area of the plate or a sheet of metal increase on heating next one cubical expansion what is cubical expansion it is nothing but the expansion in volume of solid liquid or gas on heating is called cubical expansion thermal expansion of solids different substances of identical dimensions when heated through the same range of temperature expand by different amounts for example brass expands one and of times more than steel and aluminum expands twice as much as steel let's see some examples and applications of thermal expansion of solids one by one first example horse carts and bullock carts have wooden wheels these wooden wheels are fitted with the metal rims a metal rim is made slightly smaller in diameter than the wooden steel 
it is then heated to expand and placed around the wooden wheel to fit easily finally cold water is poured on the wheel which causes the metal rim to contract and grip the wheel tightly next example railway tracks railway tracks made of steel expand in summer when the temperature rises if the rails are fixed tightly next to each other leaving no space for expansion they will bend outward this can re derail a train hence small gaps are left between the joints of the successive rail tracks to allow them to expand in summer without any change in their shape next the iron gate that used to make a bridge is fixed at one end while its other end rests on rollers the end resting on rollers is free to expand in summer and contract in winter this prevents any damage to the bridge the telephone and the electric wires are always kept loose between utility poles this is done to prevent them from snapping in winter a cemented floor is not laid in one block instead the floor is laid in small blocks leaving very small spaces in between them this is done to allow for its expansion in summer and ensure that the floor does not crack next thermal expansion in liquids like solid liquids are expand on heating their volume increases on heating however different liquids have different rates of expansion for the same rise in temperature applications of thermal expansion of liquids kettles and saucepans are not filled up to the brim otherwise they would overflow on heating considerable space is left in medicine bottles to allow space for expansion when they are sent from cold to hot conditions thermal expansion of gases gases too undergo cubical expansion on heating in fact they expand much more than solids and liquids 